Hi and welcome back to my channel. So today I created this warm toned eye look using my Morph X Jaclyn Hill palette. So if you want to see how I created this eye look and the rest of my makeup, please keep watching. So I'm just going to talk you through how I did my eyes for this look and then I'll just video how I did my makeup. So I'm starting off with my Nivea Hydrating Primer. I'm just going to put that all over my face just before I move on to the eyes. So as you can see, I just rub a little bit of that product all over my face and then pat it into the skin. Now I'm just quickly combing the hairs of my eyebrows upwards before I fill them in using my Freedom Brow Pomade in shade Auburn and an angled eye brush, I'm just going to carve out my eyebrows. Before I do this though, I'm using some of my Max Fix Plus just to spray it into the pot, just because it is hard to apply when it's not wet. So I just draw a line underneath my eyebrow and just extend it a little bit. And then I do a line at the top of my brow and just join them up and then just fill them in from the front. I do miss out a little bit at the front of my eyebrow just because I want it to blend out and I don't want it to be too harsh at the front of my brow. So I'm just doing the same thing on my other eye. This does look quite dark when I first apply it because the product is wet, but once it dries, it's perfect shade for me. So now with my Maybelline Brow Drama, it's like an eyebrow mascara. I'm just going to comb that through my eyebrows just to make sure that it gets all the little hairs where the Freedom Brow Pomade might have missed. It also just makes them look a bit more natural as well rather than drawn on. Once again, just combing my brows with an eyebrow brush just to make sure that it looks natural. Now with my NYX eye prim primer, I'm just going to put that all on over my eyelids right up to my eyebrow just to clean them up a little bit as you can see this is the white NYX eye primer because I think it makes your eyeshadow stand out more with it being white and once that is all over my eye I'm just going to wet a small beauty blender with some fix plus and put that into my RMCA translucent powder oh sorry no I'm going to blend it out first and then with a different small beauty blender, I'm just going to put some RMCA translucent powder over my eyes just to set that in place before putting any eyeshadow on there because it just makes it blend out nicer. Now for the fun part, using my Jaclyn Hill by Morphe palette starting off with the shade MFEO just putting that into the crease and using backwards and forwards motions just to apply that and I'm bringing that quite close to my nose and once there's less product on the brush I'm taking that up to my eyebrow this shadow is really really pigmented and it's perfect for a transition shade for my skin tone then moving on to the shade butter and a bit of a fluffier blending brush. I'm just placing that colour directly over where we put MFEO. Just to deepen up that crease a little bit more. And provide more dimension to my eye. Then next, going in with the shade Hunts. I absolutely love this shade, it's beautiful, it's so pigmented. And placing that directly into the crease. Trying to keep this one a little bit lower than where we placed Butter. And just brightening up that eyelid again just using backwards and forwards motions and smoking it out on the side of my eye this color is such a beautiful ready orange I love it now moving on to the shade Jax this is sort of a deeper red color and I'm using more of a defined crease brush just to place that directly into the crease focusing this more on the outer part of my eye but I do take that quite far in like I did with the first shade MFEO. So just the same thing, backwards and forwards motions just to lay that colour down. 
then going back in with Hunt's just to make sure that Jax is all blended in and smoked out. That's sort of the key to this look, going back in with the shade that you used before, just to make sure that everything's blended and there's no harsh lines, as you can see. Now I'm using Jax and Buns, which is the shade just next to it, on again another detailed crease brush and just placing that on the outer corner of my eye just to deepen it up a little bit and make it a bit darker, as you can see. I do take into the crease slightly but not too much. Now I'm going to cut the crease with my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a flat dense shadow brush. I do do my cut creases quite high up because I do have hooded eyes so that you can see the colour that I'm going to put there. But this is the first cut crease I've ever done on camera so it does get a little bit messy just so that you're warned. I'm not doing a full cut crease, I'm just doing half of my lid as you can see. And I'm just using my little finger just to make sure that that concealer is all dried out and it's not going to crease when I put an eyeshadow over the top of it. Once again, just making sure that it's not too messy. Now I'm going in with the shade Obsessed. And like the name, I'm actually obsessed with this colour. It's so beautiful. It's like a pinky champagne colour. It's really, really beautiful on the eyes. And it really pops against the matte shades that I've got down on my eye at the moment. So I'm just placing that all over where I put that concealer. I did spray it with some Fix Plus just to make it pop even more. And yeah, I'm just putting that all over the concealer. Like so. And then once again, I'm just going back in with the shade Jax. I'm just going to go over the crease and just the outer part of where we put Obsessed just to blend it in so there isn't any harsh lines. And I'm putting it in the crease just because I did make a little bit of a mess with my concealer just to make sure that that line's nice and clean now and it's not looking messy. Then going in with Hunts for the last time on my eye. I'm just going to place that into the crease and blend it all upwards. And now going in with Ibis, which is the black matte shade in the palette. I'm using an eyeliner brush for this. I'm just going to place this right by my eyelashes so that when I put eyeliner on later, it looks more defined. And that's it for the eyes for now. So I'm going to go on to the rest of my face makeup.